Hi guys, I have another book for you. Today we are going to read, it's called, How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You? You know, I think I would be afraid if a dinosaur was trying to even get close enough to me to say I love you. But I guess we'll find out if they're nice or not. You woke in the morning and such a bad mood. Sometimes I'm a little bit grumpy when I wake up too. And then sat at the table and fussed with your food. But then you blew a kiss and waved from the door. I love you, I love you, my dinosaur. Does it look like he's gonna be able to fit through that door? What? No way. He would have to totally squeeze. Out in the sandbox, you threw lots of sand. Was not kind. And you ran from the slide after slapping my hand. Ooh. But you suddenly turned with a smile I adore. Oh, I'll always love you, my dinosaur. You moped through your nap time. That means like, you were pouting. Moped means you were kind of like pouting and mad and angry and throwing a fit. You moped through your nap time and slept not a wink. You flooded the house when you played in the sea. But you got out the mop and then cleaned up the floor I love you so much, little dinosaur. That was nice of him to help clean up the mess he made. Because sometimes messes are just accidents, but if we always help to clean them up, then that can help moms and dads and teachers feel better. Off in the car, you kept kicking my seat. That was the biggest seatbelt I've ever seen. Holy cow. And when we got out, you were dragging your feet. But you held my hand tight when we walked in the store. I'll love you forever, my dinosaur. Dinner disaster? You made such a mess. Would you stay up past bedtime? The answer, oh, yes. But when you smile sweetly and hold back your roar, when you kiss me and hug me once, twice, even more, that's when you give love. And I know this is true because that's how a dinosaur says, I love you. And then look, there's this little dinosaur on the back. He wrote a note. He says, Mommy and Daddy, I love you. Okay, my reading question for today is, and it's the same as yesterday, you can tell your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or aunt or brother or sister your answer, or you can send your answer to me in a little tiny video. Okay, my question for today for our reading group is, how do you show your family or your mom or your friends or your teacher, how do you show someone that you love them? Okay, I can't wait to hear your answers.